The Minister of Labour and Employment, Chris Ngigi, the proposed nationwide strike and picketing of branches of Central Bank of Nigeria by the Nigeria Labour Congress may have been averted. Speaking at the weekly ministerial briefing at the presidential villa in Abuja, Ngigi expressed optimism that the positive response by the CBN to the demands of the union will avert the strike in the banking sector. The minister confirmed that successful conciliatory efforts by the Ministry of Labour have led to this positive development. The LNLC had issued a seven-day ultimatum to the federal government last week to end the petrol and cash scarcity being experienced in the country. The Umbrella Union for the Nigerian Workers had threatened to commence a nationwide strike and picketing of CBM branches from Wednesday. The Nigerian Labour Congress wrote us to say that uh, the cashless policy is affecting Nigerians very badly and that among these Nigerians is affecting that their members are affected. When they did that, we had to forward the letter to the CBN governor and told him in our own letter that he should act promptly because they gave a deadline. The deadline expired uh, last Friday and we acted before that Friday. And we asked the CBN to also act before that Friday. So I, we did that before I left for Geneva. Call up the uh, National Executive Council meeting because the initial decision to give that ultimatum was given by this same council. Members of this council reside in the states and in the local government so that they will come up today, which is Tuesday uh, the 28th, to review the situation. But as much as it is, the important thing that we have emphasized to them that we have apprehended this dispute. And by section 7, 8 of Trade Disputes Act, once the minister apprehends and starts conciliation on it. You maintain status quo and tebellum. The NLC is yet to issue an official statement on the matter, but it is expected to meet later today to decide on the next line of action. From the presidential villa Abuja, Falonsha Deguki, Court TV News.